Well, we've, uh, we've heard from the rookies and we've heard from the later draft picks. Probably a little bit more pressure comes with you too. Yeah, it definitely is a fair bit of hype around it all, but it was good to get into training today and sort of relieve a few of the nerves and get to know all the boys, which has been good. Um, and yeah, Carlton's been so welcoming, so it's, it's been a good experience so far. You've dealt with hype probably most of your junior life, Sam. Is it yeah. no different or does it step up a little bit when it gets to some of the professional stuff? Yeah, it definitely does step up a bit. I'll sort of focus on things that I can control internally and just go from there, which has been stressed me from the start that um, if you put in the hard work, you'll get the reward. So, and Bolts and everyone has been great. they sort of backing me just to do my best. You want to play round one? Yeah, I want to play round one. So that, that'll be the goal and hopefully train pretty hard and try and achieve that. What about you, Liam? Yeah, no, certainly my goal as well is to play round one, but I think um, I'll go through it with Bolts and figure out what I really need to do there because I think I might have a little bit more to go than Sammy, but um, no, that's certainly my goal. Bit of a different situation for you on Thursday night. How did it all play out for um, you Oh, I didn't think too much about it, um, especially when Carlton, um, when Carlton did the trade. It was sort of, I only really realised that, that they were coming for me when my name was read out, so it wasn't too much stress about it. But um, no, no, I was certainly very excited to come to such a rich, um, a rich history in the club. How your career pans out, I guess? fairly or unfairly will be part of how that trade is assessed? I mean, how does that sit with you? Um, it sits fine with me. I mean, I don't take too much notice. I, I'm sure there's plenty of people on social media t um, giving their opinion, but it doesn't bother me too much. You know, I can, like what Sam said, I'll control what I can control. And, and however my career goes, um, you know, I, I won't leave a stone unturned, so it won't worry me too much, no. It's a big vote of confidence, I guess, in you for the club to, to make that move. Yeah, certainly, certainly. I think um, what Bolts and Soss said afterwards um, really instilled some confidence in me. And, and the main thing I was looking for in, in the best fit in a club was belief, and they've certainly got that for me, so um, I can't help but repay the faith now. So you had the heads up on the deal. You must have thought at that point you were going to state. Yeah, yeah, no, certainly. I went into the night preparing to go into state. Um, I think... There was a little talk of other clubs um, sort of being interested towards that late first round, but I certainly didn't have any heads up, no. Given the club didn't really have a pick until 69 before the trade, did you have sort of any inkling whatsoever, like when you were doing interviews with the club before um, the draft? Or? Oh, they cert certainly, you know, gave me a bit of interest, but they said, look, we just don't have a pick around your range, and unfortunately that's the way it's got to be. So, yeah, no, I, I just really didn't expect it, to be honest. <laughs> so, Liam, so, Richmond put the, the heat on you with your endurance, it sounds like, halfway through the year, and now you get the chance to go up against them in round one. Is that cross your mind? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, I think I've always sort of played with a chip on my shoulder, so I don't mind it when I've got a little bit more motivation to go with it. But um, no, certainly they made me very aware of what my weaknesses were, and I think I probably needed it at that stage. I think you can go too far in tack cup footy and get told how good you are and not get told you know, what your, what your strengths and what your weaknesses are, so I certainly needed it. What have you done, mate, for your endurance? Give us a bit of insight into the extra work you've done to build that, obviously, over the last six or seven months. Um, so... At Combine I was out with a shoulder injury so um, I had a jab at Combine to make sure everything was alright and everything settled down fine because the last thing I wanted to do was come into a pre-season with a six week shoulder injury or something like that. Um, and then once I was allowed to run I stole Andy Brayshaw's midfield program at um, Freo and sort of started toiling away at that and a bit of gym work. I'm um, just trying to mainly do rehab on the shoulder to make sure it wasn't an issue when I got here and, and that's what I've done really. I think my running still has a little bit to go and I'm sure um, Russ will have a bit to say about that as well but um, no, no, certainly that's my, still my weakness. Sam, I think the club uh, posted a picture this morning of the meeting Wolsey just up next to those windows. What did he say? Yeah, yeah it was great to meet Wolsey and obviously an icon of the game and he just had a few quick quick words for me about getting into training to make sure I embrace the club and use the support around me, players and coaches because they're all here to help so yeah he's been great I'm looking forward to going to chat with him a bit more which will be good. So Paddy Dow's following around uh, Paddy Cripps I think Zach Fisher's following around Mark Murphy this pre-season if you decided on one senior player to latch on to or just go your own way? Yeah, we spoke about it at dinner last night with Bolts, so I think for me, Mark Murphy would be great to look at, just the way he goes about it, and um, similar type of player, we try and play inside and outside, and definitely a lot of players to learn off here, and um, so far to be out on the track, learned so much already, so it's been great fun. Sam, uh, Andrew Russell, famous in footy for preparing players perfectly within an inch of uh, just game time. Uh, there's TAC training, there's Andrew Russell training. Uh, what did he get you to do this morning, what was that like? Yeah, Andrew's great, and obviously I've read a fair bit about him leading into it, so I couldn't wait to get stuck into it. Um, and yeah, he just got so, so much knowledge on what he knows, what he's doing, and spoke to me in stock before training about what how it's going to look before Christmas and ease us right into us so we can peak at the right time and um, sort of got a, a lot of skills training out of the road first and then a bit of running towards the end, which was good. Do they ease you into it, or do, you, do they throw you straight into it? 
yeah, they do manage it pretty well. Um, I think they don't want to cause too early on. And as you said, you come from doing tack cup training and not being a professional athlete every day to straight into it. So um, they don't want you to break down and um, the club and all the welfare people have been great with that. Do you get your diets changed straight away or you just sort of you already sort of an AFL style diet as it was? Yeah, as it was, I tried to eat pretty well and um, through the experience through different footy programs, it's definitely helped me in the way I've sort of prepared for training and what I eat during the week. Um, but it, there'll be dietitians to work with here and um, just little things here and there that um, the one percenters that can help get the edge on everyone else, which I'm looking forward to getting into. Plenty of other number one uh, picks here at Carlton. Have you sort of yeah. gone to them yet and asked them how to, to deal with the mantle? Yeah, I haven't had a chance yet, but I've like got being able to meet Murph and Cruz and Weeders and a few of those boys that have um, obviously gone through it all and to learn off them and what it's going to be like. It'll be a great experience for me and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to sort of embracing that. Liam, that uh, fitness program with uh, Andy Brayshaw, can you talk us through the, the relationship with him and how that came about? Um, oh, well, we, we were good mates throughout school. Um, so I was in that historic draft class at Luke Davies, Aidan Bonner and all, all of those boys at Halebury. So um, I sort of just started doing a little bit of running with him and, and he showed me, he, he was good enough to show me what he'd been doing for Freo um, in his rehab from his jaw. So I sort of just picked up on that and thought, you know what, if I can do even 90% of this, I'll be, I'll be better for it. So you're doing a bit of stuff with him when he was back here? Yeah, yeah when he was back here um, when I could I'd do stuff with him but I'd just try and make sure I did his program just to make sure I wasn't losing too much yeah. What's the advice been on number one from Bolts? I mean is it is it sort of put that to one side now or it's you know you've got to live up to that or what's what's his advice been? Yeah it's been spoken about um, a fair bit obviously in the media and that but when you get to a club it doesn't no one really cares what number you go which is um, definitely fair enough so I'm here to earn the respect off all the boys and um, they definitely don't and shouldn't take any notice really of the, the pick you are. So you just go in and get to training. You just sort of a number after that, which was great to get the number today and be a part of the club. Most of your friends seem to be on, on schoolies this week or? Um, oh, well, I was a bit weird. I finished year 12 last year, so I've got a couple of mates in, in the year group below at schoolies at the moment, but um, I chose not to go to schoolies last, last pre-season, so I missed out anyway, but um, Sammy's going through it right now, yeah. Yeah, all the mates came around on Saturday before they headed off to schoolies, so we're all pretty pumped for that. So my phone's been flat out with them, having a pretty good time. So it's what, funny. Five percent of you, a little yeah. <laughs> oh no, I was sort of, I was just so eager to get into training and haven't really thought about it at all. So it's good fun for them, though. I think you'd pick schoolies over. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Swanee <laughs> did.